Alright, so let's look at microscopes. So a microscope is an instrument which is used to make small objects look bigger or magnify small objects which are invisible to the naked eye. Since most cells are invisible to the naked eye, a microscope is an essential tool in the study of cells. There are several types of microscopes, e.g. a simple microscope and a compound microscope. A simple microscope is made up of a convex lens fitted in a frame with a handle in order to use a hand lens place the object to be viewed on a flat surface a short distance from the lens itself look at the object through the lens then move the lens up and down until you see a distinct image so this picture is of a simple microscope and you use this in biology practicals so you place the object to be viewed on a flat surface and then you can move uh, the microscope up and down until you get a distinct image Another type of microscope is the compound microscope. It consists of two sets of lenses. The lenses are fitted at the opposite ends of the body tube. So let's look at the compound microscope in depth. So here's a picture of a compound microscope with its different parts. So we have the eyepiece, the body tube, the revolving nose piece, the objective, the condenser, the iris, the mirror, the base, the inclination joint, the arm, the fine adjustment knob, and the coarse adjustment knob. So let's look at the functions of each part. So the eyepiece, the eyepiece is what you look through at the top of the microscope. The adjustment knob uh, located on the arm of the microscope moves the stage up and down to bring the specimen into focus. The fine adjustment knob is located inside the coarse adjustment knob and is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus under low power and is used for all focusing when using high power lenses. Then you have the body tube. So the body tube separates the objective and the eyepiece and assures continuous alignment of the optics. Then we have the arm. So the arm connects the base and supports the microscope head. It is also used to carry the microscope. Then we have the revolving nose piece. So this part holds two or more objective lenses and can be rotated to easily change power. Then you have the objective lenses. So the objective lenses are used to magnify objects enough for you to see them in great detail. Then we have the iris diaphragm. So the iris diaphragm simply controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. Then we have the condenser. So the condenser simply controls the intensity of the light. Then we have the mirror which reflects the natural light to ensure that the slide is seen in focus. Then we have the base. So the base of the microscope is simply used for support all right so let's look at magnification so magnification is simply the number of times the image of the object is enlarged as compared to the specimen for example a magnification of four times four simply means the object is enlarged four times so magnification has no units so this is a formula for magnification magnification is equal to size of drawing over actual size of specimen so here's an example of a question on magnification. A pupil drew a specimen and the size of the drawing was 103 millimeters. If the size of the specimen was 53 millimeters, calculate the magnification. So this is the formula. Magnification is equal to size of drawing over size of specimen. And then you'll be given the size of the drawing as 103 millimeters and the specimen as 53 millimeters. So that's 103 over 53, which gives us 1.9. So magnification is equals to times 1.9 or 1.9 times. All right, so let's look at further examples using questions from past papers. ECZ 2017 paper one. The diagram shows a guava leaf with a magnification of times 2.0. If the length of the diagram is 8.0, what is the length of the actual leaf? Okay, so this is the formula. Magnification is equals to size of drawing over actual size of specimen. So we've been given the magnification as 2, the size of the drawing as 8.0. So we're looking for the length of the actual leaf, which is x. So we cross multiply 2 times x, 2x. So 2x is equal to 8.0. Then we divide both sides by 2, 2 into 2, x, and then 2 into 8.0, 4.0. 0. So x is equal to 4.0. So the correct answer is A, 4.0 centimeters. And then ECZ 2016, paper 1. Some stages in the preparation of the epidemics of an onion for observation under a microscope are listed below. Number one, focus the microscope. Number two, 
place the epidermis on a glass slide. Number three, peel the epidermis from an onion. Number four, cover the epidermis with a cover slip. Five, add iodine solution to the epidermis. In which order do these stages occur to bring the image into focus? Okay, so the correct answer is C. The first one is peel the epidermis from an onion. And then number two, place the epidermis on the glass slide. Then number five, add iodine solution to the epidermis. Then number four, cover the epidermis with a cover slip. And then finally, number one, focus the microscope. Okay, and then the next question is GCE 2017, paper two. Complete table 1.0 showing parts of a microscope and their functions. So the first question is, which part of the microscope collects and reflects light onto specimen on the stage? Answer is mirror. And then the second question is, what is the function of the diaphragm? So it controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. Third question, which part of the microscope magnifies the image further? That's the objective. Then what is the function of a stage? So this is the section on which the specimen is placed for viewing. The fifth question, which part of the microscope brings the image into focus, especially when the specimen is being viewed at high magnification? Fine adjustment knob. Part B, state three parts of a plant cell which can be easily seen under a light microscope. The first part is the cell wall, the second part is the cell membrane, and finally, cytoplasm. All right, so this concludes the topic on magnification and microscopes.